as well, welcome. You are a brand new adult and you want to learn to swim, is that right? Yeah. Okay, good. So, Israel, this is your first time at a big pool like this. So, typically, obviously in time, you're going to get very comfortable here, you're going to get comfortable with the skills, but ultimately we want you to be able to be confident enough to go and swim at another pool outside of this, right? Whether you go on holiday or whether it's at your home. So we're going to give you some tips and hints so that you're going to learn to get comfortable here, but ultimately to help you to be able to swim on your own somewhere else. So with this pool, you can see, if you look at the pool over there, you can't really tell how deep it is, right? So the reason for that is, is can you see the light shining in and there's movement in the water? So because of that, it's really hard to tell how deep it is. So, you know, sometimes people would guess it's a meter and a half, or it's two meters, but the actual depth over here is 2.5 meters. So my point is, is when you go to another pool, Israel, you don't want to get very excited and say, oh, I've got some swim skills, and you just jump in, but you're not really sure how deep it is. It's very important that, especially in the beginning, for the first time, when you go and swim on your own, that you make sure you stick to the rules in terms of safety. So it's very good that when you go to a new pool, you can always see where there's stairs, right? Or for example, some pools have ladders where you can climb in. That would obviously be your shallow side. So in the beginning, you stick to those that you know you can climb in safely and you'll be able to stand. Okay, also when you go to another pool, you know, with the small children, we teach them to, to ask their parents for permission. So I'm not going to expect you to find your mom and ask them if you can swim. But it's a good idea if you're on holiday or at your home, is just to let a family member, a lifeguard, a loved one, let them know, hey, I'm going to go for a swim, so that they are aware that you are in the pool and they can keep eye on you. Okay, all right, let's go jump in the shower, then we'll meet you on the other side. Okay, so, so for the purpose of this video, I've shown you around the pool, things to look out for. Um, and obviously we've climbed in now in the shallow side where we're feeling nice and safe and comfortable. So with the curriculum, the skills remain the same. So whether we're teaching a child or whether we're teaching an adult, we just teach it in a different way. So with children, we use things like games and songs. Obviously, we wouldn't necessarily incorporate that with an adult. So when you go to another pool, uh, all the pools are built differently and up until the point that you are in the pool you might not know what what it looks like at the bottom so some pools you're going to be nice and shallow and then all of a sudden you're going to feel it start sloping down and getting deeper other pools you might have a drop off and it's suddenly deeper so that's why it's a good idea up until a point where you feel confident in doing your skills that you always remain cautious okay so if you can stand up, you can just come and stand next to me here. So this is 1.2 meters. Um, it's obviously nice and shallow. So pretending that we're in the pool now and all of a sudden we're not feeling comfortable. It feels like it's getting deeper. I'm getting a little bit anxious. I want to get out now. But now I'm nice and close to the wall, right? Yeah. So what I would do then, it's called a wall walk. So you can come a little bit closer and I'll show you. At the moment, the pool is very quiet, so the pool surface isn't really wet. But in a normal condition, or at a holiday resort, or something like that, most of the time the surface would be wet. So for a wall walk, I'm going to hold on with both my hands, but I'm also going to put my feet on the wall. The reason for that is, is if I'm only holding on with my hands and the surface is very wet and slippery, now obviously when you're anxious and nervous you might go quite quickly and your hands can slip and you can fall back into the pool where you might not be able to stand. So when you're using both your hands and both your feet, almost like Spider-Man climbing the wall, that means that you're nice and secure and tight on the wall. Okay, so you can copy me, both hands, both feet. Okay. Good. Okay, so now let's sing a little bit of a song like we would okay. if we were children, right? If this okay. was a kid's class. So, Incy, Incy Spider, climbing up the wall, down came the rain, but we don't, did not fall, because we could walk all the way to the middle. Good job. Okay, there we go, nice and steady. Keep the feet on the wall. Okay. Okay, good job. 
So now we are moving to the middle because there's a nice big space where we can climb out, right? Because it's going to be difficult to climb out here okay. where the stations are. So when we get to the middle, there's a nice open space. So I'm going to show you how to climb out now. So what we're going to do is around here, you can stand again, is we're going to use elbow, elbow. We're going to jump up, use our tummy, then we're going to climb out knee, knee. Okay. You can move to the middle so you've got enough space, and then you can try your climb up. So we're going to go elbow, yes. You can go elbow, elbow. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, well done. Good job. Okay, you can climb back in. So can I come in? You can just climb in. There we go. You can step down. There we go. It's nice and shallow. So, as I said, if you are close to the wall, you're not feeling comfortable, you can hold on to the wall and wall walk to either the stairs where you can climb up safely or to the middle where you can climb up like I just showed you. Okay, now the million dollar question. What happens if we are not close to the wall, but we're not feeling secure and comfortable now? We're getting anxious, it's getting a little bit deep and we want to get out. So that's where I'm going to teach you how to float on your back. <laughs>